Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how to set up failover capabilities when connecting two digital audio workstations to an Allen & Heath digital mixer connected to Boombox. The general idea is that we have two redundant computers running a DAW or other MIDI software controlling an Allen & Heath mixer over a network connection for a live show. Both computers run the same sequence simultaneously. Normally, only the first computer, A, is routed to the mixer. If computer A should fail, the MIDI routing is switched to computer B. We will be discussing three switching method options as shown here. The first method is the manual method. It uses an external MIDI controller to switch between computers. This method requires an operator to detect the failure and press a button on the control surface to switch to the failover computer B. The connection status method is the second option we present. Here the network connection to computer A is monitored. When it drops, MIDI routing is switched to computer B. When A is up again, the method will automatically switch back to A, but you can also configure it to stay with B. As a third option, we present a method to monitor the regular MIDI clock messages coming from computer A. Once these messages are not received anymore from A, the method automatically switches to computer B. Only the first option requires operator intervention. Here is an overview of the device and routing topology. In the upper left corner, we have the Allen & Heath digital mixer that's attached to the network. Boombox has the capability to automatically discover certain models of digital Allen & Heath mixers. In the middle is the Boombox running the switching logic. We have implemented this with a MIDI Translator Pro routing project. The green route shows the primary route and the red route shows the failover route. On the lower left is computer A and the lower right is computer B. Both are configured exactly the same. Now let's look at the switching logic. It is a project file that we created with Bone MIDI Translator Pro. We will look at it first as though the computer is acting like the bone box. You can then upload it to the bone box when you've made modifications to suit your needs and then set it up for the bone box environment. The project file has eight presets, each having their own function. The INET preset takes care of startup housekeeping and setting the project to a known state. The switch to A and B presets are turned on and off by translators depending on the current failover method selected. Only one of the two presets will be active at any given time. On activation of one of these presets, it will disable the other routing, enable the new routing. It will also deactivate the other routing preset. Then we have three presets, each for different switching schemes presented earlier. Only one of these presets should be active at a given time. When loading onto Boombox, the method which was active when saving the project will be used on the Boombox. The last two presets are helper presets for option three. The translators within will find which computer is sending timing clock messages and switch to the other computer if the current computer is not sending MIDI timing clock. We have a configurable global variable set the amount of time to wait before switching. It is currently set to one second. Only one of the last two presets will be active at any given time and only if option three is selected. Here we show you the manual method in action. Notice that as I press my first and second solo buttons on my controller, the routing switches between computer A and computer B. Now using the connection status method, I drop the network connection on computer A and the routing is switched to computer B automatically. When I restore the computer A network connection, it switches back. For the MIDI clock method, I establish a timing clock from both DAWs and switch to the method. The connection goes to the first computer it finds the MIDI clock signal. 
If the signal drops, it looks on the other computer. If it not found on either, it will continuously switch back and forth until it receives MIDI clock from one computer, and then it'll stay with it. We have prepared three project files, one for each switching method. They are identical project files except for which preset for the switching logic is active. You can upload one or all of the project files to BoneBox. Here we show how to upload the first method for manual switching. After logging into the BoneBox, let's configure the Allen & Heath mixer. It is connected via Ethernet to the BoneBox. On the Allen & Heath page, you'll need to enable it. After that, any connected mixer should be discovered automatically. For simplicity's sake, just check Auto Enable and Auto Routes. Like that, any connected Allen & Heath mixer will be configured automatically by the BoneBox. Now go to the MIDI translator page and upload the switching project file. I select the project file that I want to upload and then click Upload. Once uploaded, I select the project file in the list to start the project. Now I will need to set or confirm the MIDI port aliases used in the project file. For this, I go to the MIDI ports page. I go to the MIDI routing page and switch hosts with my controller. Here you can see that the routes change as I press the controller buttons. Thank you for watching. Please see the description for how to download the project files and the links to the BoneBox and Bone MIDI Translator Pro. I also provide a link to the Bone Forum where we assist you with any questions you may have.